Matching your subject's color to the background in Photoshop does not have to be that hard. <laughs> What's going on, creative family? It's Dustin Valkuma, and today we're talking about how to match your subject's color to the background in Photoshop. It's going to be really simple. It's actually a lot easier. It's just hopefully a good tool for you guys to use in your toolkit of creativity. Now, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon so that you get notified as I upload new content, and I will see you guys in Photoshop. All right, guys, here we are in Photoshop taking a look at an image that I did for Greg Wide. Uh, shout out to you, man. You always give me some cool composites to work on. Now, in this case, we are just basically doing a sky replacement for this jet. And at this point here with my subject cut out, I don't have any type of good color match going on between the background and the foreground. So let's go ahead and solve that. So the fastest way to do this is to head down in your layers panel here and down to the half eaten pie here at the bottom to bring up our adjustment layers and we will select the curves adjustment layer. Now immediately after creating that adjustment layer, go ahead and just click this thumbnail here. That just means that we'll be working with the actual curve adjustments and not be working in the layer mask, which is something we don't want. Now at this point, we can press Alt or Option and click in between those two layers. So that just creates a clipping mask so that any adjustments we make to this curves adjustment layer will just directly affect our subject being the jet in this case. Now, looking at the properties here, if you press Alt or Option and you click the Auto button, that brings up a nice hidden Auto Color Correction Options dialog box that you wouldn't see if you didn't click on it that way. Now, if you go to Find Dark and Light Colors, this is going to allow us to sample the shadows and the highlights from the background to apply directly to our subject. So in this case, let's go ahead and just click the shadows here to bring up the color picker and we will head into the darkest point in our background that is not completely black. So we'll go ahead there and we can click OK. Do the same thing for the highlights. We'll select somewhere over here in this range. Let's see here, and that works fine. So after clicking OK, you can see that now we have a pretty, pretty good color match. Now one thing to note that if you've never done this before, and snap neutral midtones is on, just make sure to turn that off because we don't want Photoshop trying to calculate or snap any other colors in the scene other than what we're selecting. So just go ahead and click OK. And do not save these new target colors as defaults unless you plan on doing this on multiple photos. But then you'll just want to make sure that you go back and reset those later. So in this case, we'll select no. And then I can go in here and use my RGB curves to then adjust my values independently of the color so that I can get a little bit better match um, value wise to what my background will officially look like. So at this point, the colors are matched well enough to get me by. And then I can just go ahead and do my last little bits of effects to that and move on to grading at this point. All right, guys, so that wraps up this tutorial on matching your subject's color to the background in Photoshop. Now, hopefully this helped out a lot. This is one of those small things that if you add this to your toolbox, you'll be able to use it in almost every scenario like I do. Now, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave some feedback down in the comments. Um, just remember to create more, say less, and stay creative, guys. I will see you in the next video.